Hello my watchers and subscribers, this is Believe in Shadows here, and today this video is going to be a tutorial about how I draw with MS Paint. It's just going to be kind of an overhaul of what I do. It's not going to go super in-depth. I plan on making more videos more in-depth later about specifics if people seem to like this video here, but that's for another day. Anyway, so here on the screen you see me just making my sketch. It's nothing special. Most people that have seen MS Paint have seen sketches made in this way. I'm just kind of refining it right now, getting out the proportions and stuff of what I want. Erasing my sketch underneath. And then here I start thinking about colors. Originally I was going to do brown, but I figured that gray instead would be better for the tutorial because it's really easy for people to see the shading. And then my method of shading here is I pick the color I want and then I pick a dark and a light version of it. And then I use the um, eyedropper to smooth things out essentially. And my weapon of choice with painting is the pencil tool. I find the pencil tool to be most useful when like refining a painting. The crayon tool is another one I use for blocking in colors because it's large and it's smooth it ish, smooth ish. But when it comes to refining and doing the details and doing the bulk of the painting, I find the pencil tool to be the best out of all of them um, because it's the smallest and most malleable, if that makes sense. So right now in the painting, I'm kind of just pushing things back and bringing things forward. This style of painting, especially with MS Paint, it takes a long time because you don't really have layers and you don't have all those little tricks and stuff to save time like you might with other programs. You have to go over every single part of your painting, like multiple times, to get exactly what you want. And there still are limitations. The bigger the canvas, the better your picture will be, in a relative sense. If you're painting in this style, you can see that, well, you'll see in a minute, that I shrink the size down. It's about 500 pixels for the headshot. So if you're doing like a full body, you'd need like a thousand or more. You need a large canvas because MS Paint, unlike other programs, works on a pixelated basis. So if you do a small, a small canvas, it's going to be blurry no matter what. And you're going to have limitations because your brushes are going to be too large in ratio for you to do anything at all. So the bigger you make your canvas, the more control you have, if that makes sense. Um, I actually wish that I made this canvas bigger. Um, I don't really do fur on the main bulk of it because I wanted to just be really basic with this, but I do do some fur soon. Um, you'll see in, inside of the ear. And you can tell that the smallest brush I have is, is, is still quite big. And it's because I wasn't smart and I didn't make the canvas big enough. This is kind of like the smallest I would go, in my opinion, for painting like this. So... I found out about this style of painting just by chance. Experiment, really. <clears throat> I've never really seen anyone paint like this. I'm sure there are people out there that paint like this on MS Paint, but I just haven't seen it yet. I was making just a painting of my OC shadow, and I just decided to play around with it and see what I could do. I don't know what was wrong with me, because I never go outside of my comfort zone, at least I never used to, but I went outside of my comfort zone, and I discovered a method of painting I really liked. Um, I just kind of went out of my comfort zone and really just played around and I absolutely love this style of painting. This is primarily the only thing I do with MS Paint now. I don't really like doing solid lines anymore unless it's like an unshaded picture. But if I'm doing shading, I really just prefer to do a painting because I feel like I have more control and I can make it look really nice. Um, in fact, 
a lot of people are surprised when I tell them that my stuff was made on MS Paint. A big thing with MS Paint is having guts. <laughs> you have to have some level of confidence when you paint. I mean, you need to have a level of confidence no matter what medium you're using. Um, but it's a little bit more scary than using, like, paint tool side where you have layers. It's, I would equate it more to traditional art. But not as scary because you still do have the back button. <laughs> you can undo things. But as you saw, I did like move the ears over, move the head down. That well, I think I'll move the head down in a minute. I don't know if it happened yet. I had the confidence to move it over because I didn't think it looked right, and then I just smoothed things out, and I had the patience to go back and fix it. And you can see here, I, I take a lot of time, too, in playing with the eyes. So, and I also added another color to the eyes to add more light to it. Anyway, I this video is pretty much coming to an end. I, I really do hope that you liked it. And if you did like it, if you could leave a like, that'd be great. Um, some feedback would be wonderful. If you'd like to see... Uh, more tutorials like this, but more in-depth, like about fur or using different colors. Uh, anything that you can really think of, give me a suggestion uh, down in the comment section, and I'll probably make a video about it. Anyway, I hope once again that you enjoyed this video.